Local sports from KYMA News 11. I feel overall, I think we have so many of our bases covered. In years before, I just, I felt like we had a little too many holes on the court. Uh, and it's nothing against the other players. It's just this unit, we've just got such a good all-around squad that I, I think they're pretty hard to beat. Yuma Catholic Volleyball is ready for the second season. Welcome back, everyone. The Shamrocks are on the eve of the 3A playoffs after closing out one of the more impressive season campaigns in school history, racking up a dozen victories out of 15 matches and finishing unbeaten in region competition. As the Rocks prepare for their play-in match, News 11 Sports ventured out to Yuma Catholic High School earlier today where head coach Dusty Williamson shared her thoughts on why she's so confident in her squad and the upcoming matchup with Tonopah Valley, a team they already beat two times during the condensed season. I feel like after that, you know, we kind of showed us, hey, we are a, an amazing team and we can play with just about anybody you put us out here with. And they led with that confidence and we were able to win and be successful. We have the fortunate advantage of, be, of beating them twice already, but they also have the advantage of being that much more driven to beat us, to prove themselves. So it, it, it should benefit us. It should benefit us, but we just can't fall asleep. So here it is, tomorrow night's play-in match. Once again, the 10th seeded Rocks will host 23rd seeded Tonopah in the friendly confines of Carol Oden McElhaney Gym at Yuma Catholic High School. The match will begin at 6 Mountain Time. This will be the final match at home before the rest of the playoffs will take place at neutral site locations. Well, the condensed football season for the Yuma Union High School District has come to an abrupt end. The final week of the YUHSD season is canceled due to the possible exposure to the coronavirus. According to the district, an unnamed individual involved in last Friday night's Yuma Criminals Gila Ridge Hawks varsity game showed symptoms of COVID-19 the day after the game. The individual is confirmed to have tested positive for COVID. In accordance to the Arizona Interscholastic Association and the Centers for Disease Control, anyone exposed to someone with COVID is highly recommended to quarantine for a period of two weeks. We'll bring you more on this story in the upcoming days. Well, finally, moving on to YUHSD swimming. Among the many bright stars from last week's state tournament competition, Cibola's Aiden Dusick perhaps shined the brightest. The senior Raider swimmer became the individual state champion in the 100-meter backstroke with a time of 51.20 seconds. He also finished third in the 100-meter freestyle event. We at News 11 Sports would like to congratulate Aiden on this unusual and outstanding feat. Not many swimmers in our area have pulled this off. All right, we're done with this all-local round of sports. Brando, we'll send it back your way.